y'all. Welcome back to another one of that Say So TV. Kelzo gang, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers. I'm so shocked. I did not expect this. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm very surprised that y'all fuck with me the way that y'all do. And um, I'm just hella geek. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate y'all. Thank you for that. First off. All right. Um, yeah, one of my videos got taken down. Um, I had hit up to like 16,000 views and then it got taken down so i was a little worried i was like a little discouraged but then when i look i'm like all right everything's still good numbers is good so i'm actually very shocked i didn't expect that i did not expect that at all i thought i was going to be getting like maybe 50 to 100 views on each video so fuck with y'all on that one all right thank you and so today i wanted to talk about this whole bottom shaming topic um, I've gotten a lot of requests on this topic and I have never actually really, you know, honestly, I haven't really thought too much on this topic. Um, this topic I've heard a lot about and it's been going around in the community a lot, but it hasn't really been pinpointed as to where bottom shaming is coming from. And I'll be able to hit that for y'all because I am a top and I will be able to let that be known as to where that comes from, from our end. And then also where I also see it from another end. So the first thing is, well, this is the top five bottom shaming laws, I guess. These are the top five bottom shamings. Okay. <laughs> so the first one is going to come from lack of self-respect. All right. If you have a lack of self-respect, meaning that you allow anybody to climb up inside of you, it's real easy. Not saying that it's not so like having sex on the first night. I'm not saying that that's easy. That's what we do. That's what being grown is. I mean, we do that. We all doing that. So I'm not going to say that that's what makes you easy. What I'm going to say is easy about um, being a bottom is if you are on like social media sites and like jacked and stuff and you got like like let's say like you know the jack profile that's like bottom like why is your name bottom like why you call yourself a bottom like then like if you got like you know come dump king or like some type of weird ass name where you're just putting it out there that you are a bottom and you're looking to be fucked like you know i like to suck dick or something like suck like throat goat or some shit like that. Like if you call yourself these things, don't, you can't expect anyone to look at you any further. They're not going to look at you as no boyfriend material. They're not going to look at you as, you know, um, anything. You're just going to be a fuck. So that will get you bottom shamed because it's like, oh, I just bust down this little bottom. Like, you know, this little bottom ain't, you know, I was fucking with this little bottom. Like, I've even had versatile niggas tell me that. Like, when I be like, so you fuck with this nigga or you got a boyfriend or something? And they be like, I don't fuck with that little bottom. Like, that's that, that, little, that little bottom don't matter. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that also is another thing I had not peeped. And I'm going to go ahead and make that number two. The other part of the bottom shaming is as a top, you know that you get treated better. I'm just going to be honest. As a top, I feel like the things that have been done wrong to me through dudes, if I was a bottom, I would feel way worse about it. Um, I feel like I, it would be way more of a big deal um, to be done dirty or left or, you know, treated like you ain't shit. If you was getting up that ass, like, that would have been a way different deal. So, um, also, from verse guys, bottoms, and it seems like tops also respect other tops more because it's a, you know, take one to no one. But then it also, tops be one of top of the tops. So, bottoms kind of get pushed to the side like you're an easy fuck. So, it's like, I want to fuck a top. Like, sometimes I be in a way, in a mood where I be like, you know, I'm done busting these little loose bottoms up. Like, I want to get me somebody who I know. You know what I'm saying? Um, who ain't giving it up like that. I want somebody who... That's my dryer, y'all. 
I want to get somebody who ain't giving it up so quick and or not so quick, but just so easily. Somebody who ain't loose. Like there's a lot of loose booty niggas. Like and if you a bottom, it's very easy for you to be a loose booty. And I know verse niggas that got loose booties too, but um, mainly that's where that comes from. It's the looseness. Tops do not like loose booty. Verse niggas should not like loose booty. Nobody likes loose booty. The problem is what y'all gonna have to understand is that regardless of how manly you want to be or how much of you don't want to be treated like the female, like, oh, females are hoes if they fuck with a bunch of dudes, but dudes are not do are not hoes if they fuck with a bunch of uh, girls. Well, that is, I'm sorry, but it, it comes along with the territory. You're getting penetrated. If you are the receiver, it comes along with the territory. I'm sorry, I'm not one of those. Um, I think we should not treat bottoms the same as women because I do think we should. Um, if you are a receiver sexually, um, you are more subject subjectable to diseases, HIV specifically. Um, you are able to tell where you've been. Anybody who comes inside you after your walls have been knocked down, everyone can tell what's going on here. As a top, you can sleep around with all these different niggas. As a straight dude, you can sleep around with all these different bitches. And who gonna tell? If I didn't catch nothing, if I'm using rubbers, you're not going to be able to tell. My shit ain't going to be soft all the time or nothing. Drugs is what does that or just not being turned on by you. But as far as like dick doesn't have a mileage ticket that shows you what's going on and where it's been. So hole does. And that's just the point. And you're going to have to just get over that. All right. So that's the second one. Y'all thinking that y'all can use y'all's booty hoes the same way that y'all use y'all's dicks for verse niggas and bottoms thinking that y'all not supposed to be held to the same standard as a woman you are it is what it is okay um if a dude does not care about you having loose booty and getting fucked by a bunch of different niggas he has no intention on doing anything else with you you are just a bust, a bust down so that's the reason why you think that that's that guy is not what y'all want to call a toxic masculine dude like what y'all need to understand is toxic masculinity is a whole branch of other shit. Um, it's not about not wanting a loose butt. Okay, that does not make you a toxic masculine dude if you just do not like loose, loose niggas. That doesn't make you a toxic masculine dude. Now, if you want to address the whole, is it okay for tops and straight dudes to do what they do? Why isn't it okay for girls or bottoms? I just answered it and you're going to have to get over it. You are the receiver. You have a higher morality that you need to have and you have a higher level of responsibility. It comes with more responsibility, period. It comes along with the territory. So if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to be shamed for being a hoe, then don't get fucked by a bunch of different niggas. That's all. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how else to make it cut it for y'all easy. I can't, I can't let y'all think that it's okay to use y'all's asses the same way y'all use y'all's dicks because that's actually me hurting y'all. Y'all the ones that's going to be the one catching shit. Us tops, we can fuck as much as we want. And um, tops, it is a chance for you to catch HIV. But the statistics, if you look up in medical field, I used to work in the medical field, STDs and HIV field specifically. And as a bottom, you have a 70% to 60% chance of catching HIV. And as a verse dude, at 70 percent it was like around the same amount it depends on how much you do it though so it can go down or up for you but as a top they don't even fucking know they don't even have the numbers for us y'all they don't even have the numbers as to how much of us catch that shit so that's just the reality of it all right so now moving on to number three let me see misplaced masculinity um if you think as a bottom that because you are a man well wait i take that back if you think as a bottom that you are not supposed to in a relationship take on a more submissive route then you're gonna get shamed um most tops are not going to like a bottom who is just as aggressive, just as, or not even just as, but I'll say 
you're only a bottom in the bed, but then outside of the bedroom, you act like a whole fucking nigga. You act like you don't, like you don't be getting fucked or something. Like you're going to sit here and act like you're supposed to be treated as if you don't get fucked or something, but that's just not the case. Um, a lot of tops and more masculine uh, component in the relationship is going to want to dominate you. So if you don't want to be dominated in a certain way, and I don't mean that dominated in like a toxic way where they're telling you what to do, controlling you. I'm saying if you don't want to be handled a certain way, um, kind of treat it like a dude treats a female in a courting way. Um, I think it's healthy that guys uh, meet their equal or their yin and their yang, uh, meaning that if you're the top and they're the bottom and they want to take on, hold on. But yeah, so basically if you like just don't want to be handled any old kind of way, like basically what I'm saying is, is that if you don't want to, if every little thing that your top does like is going to make you feel like you're being bitched out or he's like punking over you or he's controlling you then um, you need to reevaluate your position and also what exactly do you want and communicate that with him because when you guys do this whole like attitude shit and we don't understand what's going on and it's this whole playing victim like somebody's running everything you have a voice you're a man as well you're not a woman you can speak up and you can defend yourself and you can state what you need and what you want what you like and what you don't like period all right so I'll say the, the misplaced masculinity because um, feeling as if you're not supposed to be handled any kind of way in a submissive manner. That's what I'm trying to state. All right. Now, moving on to number four. Um, I don't know if I'm at number four or five, but okay. I'm going to just do two more. All right. So the next one would be the bottom versus bottom shaming. Um, I've noticed this shit a lot uh, with other bottoms, like with bottoms going with uh, against other bottoms with the whole. Oh, I've even seen verse dudes do it like, oh, we ain't going to that club. There's a bunch of bottoms in there. Like, uh, uh it's bottoms. Oh, that bitch is a bottom or bitch. You're a bottom. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. So it's like I'd be wondering. First of all, if you ever hear somebody say that, just by the way, that's a fucking bottom. Okay, no top is about to say, oh, there's I ain't trying to go up in there. There's a bunch of bottoms up in there. Ain't nobody trying to be around all them bottoms. Like, if you hear a dude say that, he's versatile at the least. You know what I'm saying? But I don't understand why bottom shame are the bottoms. Um, I think it's a competition thing, kind of like that catty shit with girls. Um, they want to be like the... Some bottoms are like very aggressive and dominant, um, so they want... The, all the attention as a bottom on them. They want to be like the only bottom in the threesome or the orgy or whatever, you know, like these type of bottoms is what I think this is coming from. But I have heard a lot of this whole bottom shaming to another bottom, um, basically clowning them or talking shit about their position. I don't know if they're making fun of it or what, but I'm pretty sure some people have taken it pretty to heart. So I just want to throw that in there real quick because yeah, I've heard bottom shame bottoms a lot. So just to get that out there, all right? And then so now, the last but not least, bottoms um, should be equal partners, not girls. All right, and the reason why I say this is a lot of y'all bottoms think that the whole point of being with another masculine dude or being with a masculine dude or being with the top, I've even known verse dudes do this. Y'all think that y'all's position is to be a female and neither one of us are females. I'm pretty sure most guys, bisexual, gay or whatever, tops do not want you to feel and think like a woman. We want men who are comfortable with their manhood, love being a boy, love being a man, but they just like taking dick. They get pleasure out of taking dick. They like that, like, they like they, um, what's that shit inside of us? Uh, the thing that makes guys feel the pleasure that they do in their ass. It's like, it starts with a P. Um, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna just put it right here. 
but uh, they like that shit stimulated, you know? Um, there's a lot of straight guys that like that stimulated as well. It's not just a gay thing, you know what I'm saying? So we just like that. We just like a guy that likes that stimulated. Um, their prostate, okay? That's what makes guys nut out their ass and shit. That's why when people be like, it's not meant for the butthole to get fucked, okay, maybe not like all the way in a certain um viewpoint but if where's the prostate for if guys wasn't meant to be fucked they wouldn't get that that's what the prostate is for it's for pleasure back there it's got a different the prostate has a few different um mechanisms it's not used for one or two things it's used for many things it's 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 a cleanser for you and all kind of shit but one thing it also purpose serves the purpose is of receiving pleasure anally for a male so we can't say that it ain't meant because it could very well be meant, all right? So, yeah, I just wanted to say that don't think that you're a girl. Um, if we wanted a girl, we would go get one. And then two, you can't have a baby for us. You can't bear a, a child. So I would never actually treat any of my guys like females simply for one of those reasons. Um, you can't have my baby. We're going to have to go out here and get a surrogate or something or some type of shit like that. So therefore, I'm not going to be able to treat you like a female. Um, the reason why females get treated a certain the way that they do is a lot of the times because of their ability to have children. And I'm sorry, that's just the way that it is. And I know that a lot of trans people may not like that uh, outlook. But um, even though you're trans and you have transitioned and you look like a female and everything because of the fact that you're not able to have a child, um, a lot of guys are going to overlook that whole like treating you like a female thing, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the main thing that make a person a female in our eyes, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, that's aside from feminine flamboyancy. Yes, that comes along with being a female, but really being a female is having children, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm not going to say just that. I don't want any woman to feel like if you can't have children that that makes you less than or you're not a woman because you are very much a woman. Um, everyone just wasn't given the uh, blessing to be able to do that. But um, yeah, that is the main thing about tops not liking bottoms, acting like girls. When we get in a relationship, you want to portray this female aspect. Um, and I'm not just saying like the submissive thing, like I was saying earlier, submission comes along with a relationship period men have to be submissive to their females sometime in conversations and all kind of shit you know what i'm saying so it's, it's 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 levels to that but however yeah that's just the number five right there we don't want y'all acting like females we will bottom shame you for that as well like this bottom think like i'm supposed to do <laughs> what like boy stop you know what i'm saying so that's just that for your boy, if I come up with something else, I'll drop a number two for it. If there's anything that I missed or if y'all agree or disagree, let me know. Comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, like I said before, thank you for watching. And I'll see y'all on the next one. All right. Peace.